I think celebration is in order. Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. My name is Adam and um, thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. Hell, we're almost at 600 subscribers. Uh, thank you. I never thought we'd go this far as someone who started YouTube at age 16 over 10 years ago. Um, I finally found uh, something that I'm having fun doing. I finally found my niche, so to speak, and I really appreciate every single one of you um, for stopping by and clicking the button that says, yeah, I'd like to stop by again. So I really thank you. I wasn't quite sure what to do as a celebration, but I think we're going to do an office tour because um, my office is filthy as hell, but there's some interesting items up there and I think I'd like to share them with you. Um, so without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, then here we are. All right. So we're actually going to start with uh, in front of the PC. So uh, here's my desk here. All right. So we're going to start here now. Um, we're going to move this microphone out the way. Da -da -da. We'll start with um, the microphone is an AT2020. There we go. It's an AT2020. And here we also have the audio mixer that I use, which is very dusty. Um, I don't know exactly which one it is, but it's on my website, weekdayweekend.net, as well as all my PC specs. We have these little uh, poker chip things that I got from MRRF, as well as that Overture pin there. I got these little guys here that I've put um, different batteries in, button cell batteries. I got a D20 hiding back there, and USB power brick hiding back there. Wireless charger. Got some batteries back there. Show you what those are for. I have an old uh, Toyota remote, current project. Just need the right batteries for it, but uh, you know, I got a Game Boy with a Rayquaza on it. Some batteries that don't fit that remote. That's for a different project. I've got a busted Xbox controller that is mid project because um, I need one size Torx security driver smaller than what I have. Damn it. And whoop, my stream deck. Spent quite a lot of time making this exactly how I want it. I have many, many folders. Uh, so I have this to start. And then uh, when I go to stream, like there, and I have a set desktop or games or modern or retro console. Now I can turn off mic input or audio or anything else. I can switch to the printer cam or anything like that. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty nice. And then, oh, hello. Over here, we've got a joystick. Because I do like my flight simulator games, although I need a nicer joystick. Um, and that's one of the many, many things preventing me from going to Linux. You've got some Kester solder here. Uh, half a millimeter. Uh, I think it's 63, 63.37, I do believe. Sure is. And then if I turn DVD drive here and uh, soldering stuff, in these little 3D printed drawers, uh, screws and extra cables and things, soldering iron tip cover, Gorilla Glue lighter. I got some wax uh, for wax seals just because I like the aesthetic of wax seals. They're cool. Some helping hands. They're all right. Some white electrical tape because that, um, writing on them as labels is kind of nice. And then the Yehoa 939D plus soldering iron. It's all right. The temperature is already poorly calibrated. Need to calibrate it, but you know, that takes, that costs money. Um, so I, I wish I would have gone with a Heiko one because I can't quite find the right tips for this. The Heiko one was double the price, but also, you know, you can get new tips for it. Focus, focus, please. No, I just want this to focus. There we go. Yeah. So whatever. We're going to keep going. Hey, look, PC specs weekdayweekend.net. We'll move it on all along. Magic gathering cards in that there. An old HP printer because move back to improve focus. What the hell are you talking about? An old HP printer. 
because the ink is cheap and the printer is cheap and all I need is black and white. It needs to be dusted off like everything in my office. Like everything in my office. Focus. Thank you. But, uh, there we go. Uh, shelf of junk, a couple old PlayStation 3 controllers. I don't think that back one works. An old label maker that does still work. Um, some LTT stickers. My mother's old Nintendo DS case because her Nintendo DS is in perfect shape. Some packing tape. Some Magic the Gathering card organizers that I have designed that I am yet to use because it takes time to organize things. Tripod down here. Um, 3D printers, Ender 3 V2 Neo. Not too bad with a failed print on it because of course it is, it's the Ender 3 V2 Neo and mine is just possessed by Satan apparently. If we move on along, my P1P with the wall attached uh, filament. We have my just wall of filament here. Yes, I do have a problem. Well, there's some extra just garbage up there. Hey, look, photo of me from high school. And we have little pieces from last year's MRRF and my collection of tools here. Next to my computer, moving on along, um, the entirety of Harry Potter. They were my mother's. I kept them because it's not like they're bad books. We got War and Peace up there, which I need to read. And To the Moon stuff. The to the moon like um, board game set thing, which is amazing. My Nintendo 2DS. Hey look, The Simpsons on DVD. Whole bunch of games, a Switch dock, my PS3 games, Scott the Waz, Return of the uh, Mysterious Game of Crypticism, my LTT screwdriver, as well as Big thing of various sized bolts, uh, pen jar. We've got my wall list label of Windows shortcuts for things that I use often. A genuine theater used poster for Empire Strikes Back. Going down a shelf, we have much more DVDs here. We've got a failed project for um, a PS3 stand. It kind of works, kind of doesn't. Uh, moving on along, the shelf of interesting items. Here we go. This is everybody's favorite part. First, the MRRF 2024 lanyard thing. And we have this uh, stuck toy of a dog that kind of looked like a dog I used to have. Uh, it was a Doberman named Suki, and she is the goodest girl. I miss her. Right next to Suki, we have Pepe Chu. Pepe Chu is very real and can hurt you. We have some 3D prints on a shelf that I 3D printed. Those in the back are the benchmark women. Look them up, I can't show them on YouTube. All right, going up, these are not 3D printed. There's a Funko Pop. I absolutely hate Funko Pops, but it's Harry Potter, so you know, whatever. Uh, again, on a shelf I 3D printed, we have a Glow in the Dark Orca, Ho-Oh and Lugia from Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh, Ho-Oh unfortunately is missing his head, oh well. And that blue bird has been in my family for generations. Snoopy. Uh, we have uh, actually Suki next to the dog Suki back there. Funko Pop again. Don't like him, but whatever. Don't worry about the anime character. She's also missing a hand. Don't know where that went. I think the dog Suki tore it off. I remember right. Only reason I got that is because Brandon had the other one. They were a set of two. Brandon had the other one. That's the only reason I got that. Promise. We have 3D printed model of Neuschwanstein Castle. Uh, which the Murph badge is causing a shadow on. 3D printed model of Neuschwanstein Castle. Gorgeous castle. If you've never been to Bavaria, I highly recommend it. A Snorlax with a UV reactive filament. First successful print I ever did with a 0.6 nozzle. Two um, d d creatures. I forget what they're called. I'll put their name on screen. I forget what they're called. We have one of these long 3D printed serpent guys. who really love those things. We have the statuette things from To the Moon. Imposter Factory and Finding Paradise, as well as Dr. Neil Watts and Dr. Ava Rosaline, because, uh, you know, they're fantastic. It's a fantastic game. We have a Steam Deck 
charger case that I printed an extra one for from my buddy Brandon, but I have not gotten a chance to give it to him. And also he probably has a better place to put his charger. So, you know, anyway, thank you, uh, William for your donation last year to charity. Uh, hopefully we can do better this year, but, um, I thank you so much for your donation. We have, uh, Charmander and Codadile here in 3D printed polygonal form, as well as a cat. Doesn't have a name. If you want to name the cat, let me know in the comments. We've got a headless Jack statue, which is uh, freaking awesome. Those didn't quite go right on the teeth, but I don't care because it looks like the pumpkin is kind of starting to rot and it looks fantastic. I have the One Grit Oh My Puck Cell. Hi, Dink Pods. I love you. Um, and more 3D printed stuff on a 3D printed shelf. We have an octopus, we have a bunch of benchies, we have a vase mode rose, and we have a ocarina. Yes, it works. And then in the middle, Stardew Valley Fair. This poster is freaking amazing. It was a gift from a friend. I am so thankful for this. I need to talk to him more. We played all of Stardew Valley uh, for like a year straight. I mean, it was amazing. Um, up there is kind of just old shit that I don't really mess with anymore. Um, let's see what is up there. We got a plant. We got some duck boxes. We got my black belt. We have some decks. We have some kind of spray perfume of some kind and some cardboard paper. Cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And see you guys at a thousand. So thank you so much for spending your day with me. Remember on my channel, every day is a weekend. Check out my Discord, check out my website, check out the YouTube and the Twitch and all that stuff. I'll see you next time, next weekend. Bye.